I, I think number three stunning, but it's not number three. <laughs> I'm from those UK. I, I didn't read a lot of the sentence, and I just saw <laughs> boy play dog, <laughs> and then liking. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Christina from the US. Hi, I'm Ryan from the UK. And hi, I'm Mia from Australia. Let's test your grammar. Are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> Level one. I am from UK. One, A, two, and three, those, four, the. You have five seconds. Did you find the answer? I, I think number three is stunning, but it's not number three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from those UK. <laughs> I am from, click, the UK. Mm. This one is articles. So there's definite and indefinite articles. The UK is one and only, so we use the. Yes. That's why I think it's very difficult. With the A and the, it's like really difficult because it's like, oh, what is definite, what is indefinite, mm. it can be a little tricky. But I guess if you can think like, is there multiple of this or is there more than mm -hmm. just one in the world of this thing, mm -hmm. then it would be like A, N. But if there's only one in the whole world, it would be the. Level two. The food was out of one, one, two, three, three, ten, four, two. You have five seconds. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, I was the like, food was out of date? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> out of the oven? Like, <laughs> ten out of ten. So this might look tricky at first, but in English, a common expression that we use is something out of 10 when we describe like how much we like something. But I guess you can also change that. Like some people say out of five or like a hundred, like yeah. 90 out of a hundred, something like that. So usually 10. Yeah, like I know also a phrase is like, 10 out of 10, would try again. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a phrase sometimes. Um, if you experience something and you love it, like 10 mm. out of 10 is 100% if you're looking at it as a fraction, and then we'll try it again, like, oh, I'm gonna. Definitely do that yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. So like, oh, how is snowboarding? Oh, 10 out of 10, would try it again. Yeah. Oh yeah, also, yeah, with being drunk, for sure. Yeah. Oh, so how bad. you feeling? <laughs> oh, seven out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> you can say on a scale of one to ten or on a scale of blah 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 to mm. number X to number Y. Level three. The boy play with his dog. One, liking. Two, do liking. Three, likes two. Four, two likes. You have five seconds. Did you get the answer? <laughs> I didn't read a lot of the sentence, and I just saw <laughs> boy play dog, <laughs> and then liking. <laughs> I was like, not that dog. <laughs> <laughs> so oh the God. answer is three. The boy likes to play with his dog. So in this question. Because we're talking about the boy, that's the third person perspective because we are not the boy. So his verb is to like. The boy likes to. And depending on that perspective changes the verb. So if it's like, I like to play with my dog. You like to play with your dog. The boy likes, likes to. to play with his dog. Depending on who the subject is will change whether you add an S or not as well. Yes, and there can't be two verbs right next to each other. You can't say the boy like play. Mm. So in this case, the boy likes, so the likes will be the verb. And then we have to change play to the object in this case. So we would say likes to play to make play the object instead of the verb. 
Level four. My father, home late at night. One, arrive. Two, will be come. Three, will arrive. Four, will be arrive. You have five seconds. Did you get the answer? That is number three, will arrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tip is to always look at the end of the sentence for the cues of like what tense the sentence is in. So that will help you know which one to, to pick. Because you can tell it's like, we'll be home late at night. Clearly it's like gonna be later. So it will be future tense. Will become is not grammatically correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And nor is will be arrive. Those both mean the same thing yeah. in the context. Level five, we need to find which answer is correct. You have five seconds. Did you get it? Because oh. if this was an exam and the like, context was like, you know, the negative, like someone's not tolerating the situation, two would be wrong because technically that means that they always, always tolerate, tolerate it. But, in so in that sense, number one is correct because that's the only one that is grammatically correct and means that they're not tolerating it, but... At a native speaking level, number yeah. two is correct because I will never not tolerate the situation. I will always tolerate the situation. Mm -hmm. And we say it about things like, I will never not listen to this song. Yeah. Like, I will never not love that photo. Like, if you took yeah. something that you really love, it's on Instagram, like all of those kinds of things. Level six, fill in the blank with the correct word. He was on after winning the competition. One, cloud nine. Two, a coma. Three, a situation. Four, restless. You've got five seconds. Did you get it? He was in a coma. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I mean. <laughs> Something could have happened. Yeah, exactly. So the correct answer is. <laughs> Number one. Yeah. He was on cloud nine after winning the competition. Cloud nine means you're just on top of the world. Yeah. You're like up in the clouds and you're just like, yeah. Getting back into teaching. Yeah, I was gonna say, I learned a lot, <laughs> a lot too, of English. Too much. So today we tried to explain some different English grammar. If you have any more questions or you have even better explanations for the questions that we explained, please leave them in the comments. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.